Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0. And today is day 43. So yesterday we started the process of submitting a commission request in KW Command and getting you paid. We also uh, kind of dove into a simple request. Today we're going to get into what could be a more complicated request. If you have a concession, maybe a deduction, uh, a bonus, or a referral, we're going to go through how to add any one of those items. So let's dive into the opportunity itself. Here our opportunity applet on the sixth one down from the left hand side we're going to go into our active opportunity and open it and if you'll remember we're in the offers and commissions tab here and to get into the commission page we're going to go to manage commission now we did not submit this commission yesterday so i can still make changes to it however once you have submitted it you're going to want to have conversations with your mca about the best practices moving forward now to add in your deductions or concessions, your referrals, bonuses, that's all underneath the Edit Agent Payment button. So if I click on Edit Agent Payment, you'll see right now you can't actually see it on the screen. Don't let this be deceiving to you. You do need to scroll down and you're gonna find Extra Payment Options. And it says Referrals, Bonuses, Deductions, or Concessions. Let's click on Add Item. And we're going to get a drop down box that asks us to identify the type of additional element. So we'll choose bonus, and this would be something like a bonus to selling agent. Uh, sometimes that happens in new construction or for different reasons. You would just simply put in that amount, and then you need to make sure that you're crystal clear on how those bonuses are handled with regards to your market center and whether or not they are split. Next up, you've got concessions. So Typically, this is something that you give back to your client, right? So uh, maybe you had to, something happened with the washer or dryer and you're going to buy one. The curtains got jacked up. I don't know. There's a lot of different reasons you can have concessions. Uh, find me at an event somewhere. and I'll tell you about plenty of them on a team as large as ours was. We had to do a few concessions now and then. So what's the dollar amount? Is that to show up on the closing statement? Is it off the top? Is the market center paying? Again, if you're not clear on what these two are, get with your MCA and just make sure that you are properly, uh, you know, toggling these on or off based upon their recommendation, best practice for their market center. Next up, you've got deductions. So this might be a deduction that you pay to someone who's going to be paid at closing for a certain item. So it might be um, your transaction coordinator. If they're a third party transaction coordinator and your market center is okay with paying them on the DA, this is how you would add the deduction would be through this drop down. Uh, do notice that you do need to have the tax ID type and tax ID and then a description of it, who you're paying it to and their address. Typically this is so a check can be mailed. Now this is not for referrals. As you'll see as we scroll down, the last two are inside or outside referral. What's an inside referral? That's a referral paid to someone in my actual market center. This drop down box would then have all of the, I can search for any agent who is in my market center. So if I look up Chad Andrus, I can't find Chad Andrus because he's not in my actual market center, right? But if I look up um, Crispin and Reyna, I can find Crispin because Crispin is in my market center. Now let's say Crispin didn't send me the referral, Chad did. I would have to do an outside referral. Now that's being paid to an agent who is not inside of my market center. So even if it is another Keller Williams agent, you are still going to have to go through and put on the full information, right? Their company name, agent name, the address, phone number, email, all of this information typically is received when you receive the referral request, right? They'll have their broker information, uh, W9, so that gets filled out appropriately. That's where you'll find the tax ID type. So that's really it for these different referrals. You can see, let's just say we had an inside referral. Let's get Crispin paid on this deal. So I would put Crispin in. Let's say uh, the commission was 10,950 and I was paying him 25%. Don't worry, Crispin, the check's in the mail, I promise. That would be 2,737,50. If I click on add, you would see that that would then show up underneath inside referrals and it's going to lower my net by that dollar amount. So if I click on save changes, you will now see that 
right? The net pay to agents is $7,008. However, Crispin's getting 2737 of that, leaving me with 4300-ish, right? So that's how that would then show up. It would show up the same way. If there were deductions, they would show here, right? Any of those other items, you would see them line itemed out here underneath your summary. And ultimately it would give you the amount that you were left uh, depending on whether the market center is splitting that with you or not splitting it with you, right? Again, your MCA is gonna be the absolute best person to talk to before you fill out this request. If you have any of those items and you're not exactly sure how to handle them. Guys, that's it for today. Day 43 of the Keller Williams Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0. Hope you're having a fantastic day as always and I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.